Please be sure to support the video we reacted to today by clicking the link at the top. Enjoy the show! Oh, it's a really short- Okay, okay, okay! I heard about this! Oh! I know who Cooking with Jack is. There's no way you- no one does not know- Even if you don't know who Cooking with Jack is, you know who Cooking with Jack is. <laughs> you know who Cooking with Jack is. I heard about this, but people are saying that it's like not confirmed that it was him yet, maybe? Shout out, to, uh, shout out to August the Duck, by the way. I freaking love this dude. Great voice. Great What's voice. What's up, guys? A bit of a more serious video today. Not going to be a goofy intro like you might usually expect. Today, I woke up to an email, or really a call, about an email from my sister, saying that she had received an email from somebody affiliated with the Cooking with Jack show threatening to dox her and me if I did not delete my recent video. Oh, so it was a full-on threat. It was like a full-on threat to dox. Uh, could I say that? It has not passed eight minutes. Freaking eight. Alright, well, I already screwed it up. Eh, it technically is. No, we're good. Okay. He threatened to die. Is it confirmed well, that it was Jack's him, or it was, is it like... AKA cooking with Jack I, I didn't know if there was a confirmation. ...piece of shit child abuser and advocate for genocide. I'm not joking. Uh, title is not clickbait. I'll throw up a few screenshots of the email on screen. Obviously, I'm gonna blank out a lot of information, but you get the idea. There was also some really weird rhetoric around race mixing involving my sister, which again, I don't... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back. Let's read this. I want to see this. a massive piece of shit child abuser and advocate for genocide. I'm not joking. Okay, I'm sorry. I need context for that genocide line. What? <laughs> the, the the whole like child abuse thing. I I remember watching. Who was it? Somebody somebody made a video about him like talking about like like basically not not like doing. I don't want to say anything out of context, right? Because I'm not like up to date with this. But like apparently he did he, he, like the way he talks about like how he parents. People were calling him ch uh, child abuser. I don't know all the details. I just know that he makes really, really just ick. like recipes. Sensitive society and Teku told you address this situation in the video. And Plubius's uh, stream chat, uh, Rince mentioned how Jack is that Rince? Is that how you say it? or Rince? 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 Uh, mentioned how Jack is a child abuser. Okay. Uh, Okay, oh, it was a uh, Plubius. I didn't even know it was a Plubius. I'll throw up a few screenshots I just recently started of the watching email Plubius's on stuff. screen. Obviously, I'm going to blank out a lot of information, but you get the idea. There was now, also hold on, some I just, I'm just reading the bold. Uh, not the, the bold. I'll the bold. The bold here. I'm reading the bold here, and the bold immediately is telling me, be proud of your race. Like, okay, welcome, hello. <laughs> this is, is, hello to you too. To whomever. Like, it's, it's just right off the beginning. Like... Like, I get it, right? This is, like, said, this is censored out, but it's, like, to whomever it may concern, it's sad to see beautiful women be ra race mixers. What? <laughs> this is, start I'm sorry to say, but this is, this is a point blank starting off like a, like a clan, like, invitation. What? It's sad seeing beautiful women to be race mixers. Don't be one of them! In bold. In bold and, and in all caps. Don't be one of them. Be proud of your race. Don't take that out of context, please. Anyway, <laughs> about one month till I release this. Tell August to delete his recent video on cooking with Jack immediately, or I will release this info within 48 hours of sending this email. One month till I release this. But I'm going to release it in 48 hours. We have a genius working here. I'm gonna, let's just start off by saying that he's an absolute genius. Okay. <laughs> you have one month. You have 48 hours as well. Wait, what? So which is so 48 hours? <laughs> All right. I'm starting to get convinced that this might have actually been... This might have actually been Jack. <laughs> no, there's no way it was Jack, right? I doubt it. No. No, this is definitely not Jack. Screenshots of the it's email had to be on someone screen. Else. Obviously, I'm gonna blank out a lot of information, but you get the idea. There was also some really weird rhetoric around. What they even wrote down what he used to study, like the school he used to study at. Wow, what a prick! Whatever this Race is. Race mixing involving my sister. Which again, again, I don't want to do this, but I love how I love how this garbage piece of like shiz person is like at the bottom here sorry that the uh 
the freaking loading bars there, but it says, again, I don't want to do this, but you are disgusting. Look who's talking, you filth! Also, some really weird rhetoric around You're freaking race threatening to dock someone, you sister, absolute which again, garbage can. I don't can. really know what my sister has to do with all this. I guess they couldn't find a way to contact me. Oh yeah, not even that! You're threatening a, a random person that has nothing to do with anything! You're threatening a random woman? This is like the whole freaking sniper wolf situation where he, like you're obviously threatening the like here like think about this if doxing did not have the potential to get someone like potentially murdered why would they use it as a threat if there wasn't an implication of ge of genuine like violence or 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 danger or an imminent threat why would they use it as a threat doxing as a threat cuz they know they know what they're doing they, they they and whoever this is should go to jail genuinely i think they should go to jail Whoever this person threatening the dot, if this person threatening the dot, should genuinely face actual legal punishment. I don't know about going to jail, right? That's a little that doxers should go to jail flat out. Uh, people who threaten the docs, they they should absolutely like. I don't know what like if they're like we should like revoke their internet license. Like they shouldn't be allowed. Like they should be on a watch list. Is what I'm saying. The FBI should keep a close eye on them. Actually, what's happening here? But they sent me and my sister a bunch like, of addresses and Like, full-blown Cyberwolf deserves the FBI to, to, to keep a close eye like on her, because she's a menace the genius to society. Who, uh, she's a genuine, like, email to us said that if I don't delete the video, a, a genuine threat to, to, the, to the normal, everyday the life of human beings. Addresses and phone numbers to contact effect. me. Or they were just too pussy to contact me directly, and I assume that's actually what's happening that here. That makes but sense. But they sent me and my sister... Yeah, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna... No, they, no, they did it They did it as, like, a way to send a message. They're, they're trying to tell you, I can get to your family is what they're trying to say. It has nothing to do with them. Like, oh, no, of course they're cowards, right? Because they're, no, duh. Because if they weren't cowards, they would just, like, say, say it to your face or, or, like, make a video on it and commentate, you know? But no, of course not. They're going to, uh, uh, they're going, they're going to freaking, uh, 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 like, they're cowards. There are cowards, like, flat out. That's not, like, uh, up for debate. It's just that they're, they're, they're trying to, to poke you right in your home. You get me? By using your family. Uh, I blame Leah. Do you blame Leah? Look, man, it's, 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 this trend is, is getting out of hand. Now, don't get me wrong. The whole doxing thing has already been a major problem. Uh, but no, it, it definitely, like, this definitely start, like, this, this isn't, this is gonna, like, everyone's gonna keep going back to that. Like, YouTube, not doing anything about that whole situation, really? Like, that's gonna, and no one's going to not bring that up every single time this happens from now on. And, 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 and good. YouTube deserves that criticism, genuinely. A bunch of addresses and phone numbers, emails, stuff like that. And then the genius who uh, wrote this email to us said that if I don't delete the video, they're going to release all this information on the 22nd of March. And then they directly followed that sentence by saying, if the video is not deleted within 48 hours of the email being sent, everything is going to get released. So, Dude, if I remember my first time sending a threatening letter. I misspelled everything, I didn't get the time correct, I sent the wrong requests, I put my name and address so they found out who I was, oh, it, was it was a mess, it was bad. The uh, seven brain cells of the Scalfani family could come together and give me an actual date to expect all this information to go out. That would be great, but uh, I don't really care if you guys release whatever you think you have, because all it is is my email and then the rental properties I own, alongside a couple of places I so they're just doxing other random families. You're not even doxing the right dude. You are absolute. Just, I don't. I guy. I, I am too. Mm. If I wasn't so terrified of YouTube's TOS, I would say some words right now. <laughs> but nah, you're a, you're a freaking coward, dude. You're absolute. I lived when I went Just to college. If you're truly that fucking trash, stupid bro. that you think I have my full legal Dude, name is this actually, actually Jack though? Is that a company? I'm actually kind of surprised you were able to draft an email. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to let this be known that not only is Mr. Scalfani a child abuser and an advocate for genocide, he's also a doctor, so he's really the perfect trifecta. You've married well, Tammy. Now, on the off chance that this email was not sent by anybody affiliated with the Scalfani family, which uh, I don't really... I would, I would, it's, it, uh, be, according to the law of the internet, I would not be surprised, but at the same time, it's possible. There's some psychos out there that will, that just, that just like, that just, that just do psycho things for psycho reasons. See, reason. that being the case, but uh, if it is, then I'm speaking to you directly, uh, the drafter of this email. You are the most pathetic person alive. You're really going to bat this hard for Jack Scalfani that you paid money to buy the white pages on me? Dude, you're a fucking loser. Be better. 
I believe in you, okay? You can still turn this life around. So in the next couple of days, if you see something on Twitter claiming to be my address and you decide to go show up there, you're probably gonna find a college student or an a, elderly A totally woman. random so, innocent uh, person that has nothing to do I'll with anything. You guys updated if I get Even any more than his sister emails, that has nothing to do with but, anything. Uh, for now, that's really all I've got for you guys today. See ya. What a freaking absolute Giga Chad video, though. It's from, from freaking August the Duck. This is, as, this is as good a response as you get, honestly. Uh, and also, I don't know what this video is, but I'm gonna... Uh, from August to... I'm gonna have to check that one out later. I don't know why. This one appeals to me. Something about the thumbnail, I think. I think I really like this video. This video really interests me, I think. It's gonna pique my, my, my curiosity, you know? I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch. Live reactions every Friday, so swing by!